following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 3rd Canto, 25th Chapter, Text Number 24, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on November 24th, 1974, in Bombay, India. O my mother, O virtuous lady, these are the qualities of great devotees who are freed from all attachment. You must seek attachment unto such holy men, for this counteracts the pernicious effects of material attachment. Hmm. Tai te sadhava shadhi sarva sangha vivarjita sangha steshu atha te patya sangha dosha harahi te So, at our present moment, we are sangha dosha yukta we are contaminated by the attachment of modes of material nature. Some of us contaminated by the Satogon, some of us are contaminated by the Rajagon, and some of us are contaminated by the Tamagon. So out of the three, the Rajagon and Tamagon is very dangerous. Rajasthama <coughs> Bhava. Uh, <coughs> Rajagon and Tamagon means Kamalubha Dayasri. To be contaminated by lusty desires and greediness. <coughs> so, one has to overcome in the beginning at least the contamination by Rajagun and Tamo. At the present moment, especially in these days, the contamination of Tamagun is very prominent and little Rajagun also, but Satagun is practically me in this age. Kaliju, <coughs> which is said in this Asta uh, that Satagon will be practically me, Rajasthan. And the aim of life is to become free from all the contamination. Even Satagun Kantam. This has been explained in the Bhagavad Gita, very nicely in the fourteenth chapter, how to become uh, <coughs> not contaminated, disinfected. So, here Kapil Dev advises that, Mother, if you want to be disinfected, uncontaminated by this material nature, then you associate with sadhu. Hmm. That was the beginning. Prasangam ajarapasam atmano kavayo vidhu svayeva sadhu sukrita mokṣadāraṁ apābṛtaṁ this is the beginning, how to become uncontaminated. <laughs> we have got some attachment to the material modes of nature. That is the cause of our bondage. Now, if we want to be free from this bondage, uncontaminated, then the same attachment should be transferred to the sadhu. <coughs> Saiva Sadhu Sukrita, the same attachment. Everyone has got attachment. Nobody is free of attachment. The Mayavadi philosophy, they say they stop this attachment. The Buddha philosophy says 
that uh, make this attachment zero. This is also a, a little advancement. But it is not possible to make our attachment zero. That is not possible. Therefore, Bhagavan says in the Bhagavad, param dhishtya nivartate. Just like a child has got attachment for playing, and gradually his attachment should be transferred for reading, going to school, education. But if you stop his attachment, then he will become mad. Ah. You must give something. Param dhishtha nivartate. Just like we are to the Western devotees, we are advising them, at least those who are accepted as our disciples, they must know meat eating. They are accustomed to meat eating, but that how this meat eating has been stopped. We have given them nice things, kachauri, sanara, rasagulla. So they have given us meat eating. So you must give something more palatable, then detachment will be possible. <clears throat> First of all, nullify the attachment and then give him better attachment. Uh, then he'll forget. Param Dishtani Vartate. He cannot force a living entity by force. There is the same example. A child <coughs> has got attachment, but by some system his attachment is turned over. <coughs> so similarly, our consciousness is there. Somehow or other it is now contaminated. So gradually this contaminated consciousness has to be purified and then Krishna consciousness automatically will arise, will be awakened. Because the Krishna consciousness is original consciousness. Somehow or other it is now covered by material attachment. <coughs> so how to uh, uh, give up this material attachment and become attached to Krishna, developing Krishna attachment, the process is sadhu sangha. That is, sareva sadhu sukrita moksha dharam abhavritam. We have got so many attachments for so many things in the material world. And if you simply, you cannot make it zero. That is not possible. You have to purify. Uh, <coughs> just like if there is some disease in the eyes, if you simply say, pluck it out, that is not treatment. Treatment is, you must remove the disease. If there is cataract by some other, then your eyesight will be revived. Similarly, we have got desires. We have got calm, uh, clothes, low, moho, masajya. These are there. But uh, you have to divert these things for Krishna's service. Calm, uh, Krishna, compartment. Just like we have got very much attachments toward doing business, for earning money and become very happy. So Krishna says, yes, you can do business, there is no harm, but you give me the reason. Jat karosi, jat juhosi, jat asnasi, jat tapasasi, purushyatat madarpanam. He does not say that you have to do something. Particular, of course, bhakta, bhakti is, but one who is not accepting bhakti cult immediately, to him Krishna says, all right, never mind, 
वॉट अबार यू डू दैट्स ऑल जब करो सी इट डज नॉट से डू दिस जब करो सी जज जो हो सी जज अस्ना सी ट्राई टू गिव इट टू मी दैट इज द बिगिनिंग हा भक्ति जो होगा इफ यू डू बिजनेस एंड यू आर्न मनी एंड स्पेंड इट फॉर कृष्ण कॉन्सियसनेस दैट इज ऑल्सो भक्ति दैट इज ऑल्सो भक्ति जस्ट लाइक विविध एग्जाम्पल इज अर्जुन अर्जुन इज अ फाइटर एंड बाय फाइटिंग ही बिकेम ए डिवोट नॉट बाय चैंटिंग हरे कृष्ण बट बाय फाइटिंग Krishna advised him to fight. He was rather because he was a Vishnu. He was not willing to fight to kill. Vishnu does not like to kill. But if there is necessity, that is why Arjun had to kill. Uh, that is by the order of Krishna, not by his own will. By his own will, Krishna did not. Arjun did not like to kill to fight. That is Vishnu's natural instinct. He does not wish to do harm or to kill anybody. <coughs> But when a Vishnu knows that Krishna wants it, he doesn't care for his own consideration. Never mind. <coughs> That is practical example, Krishna. So similarly, sakarmana tama bharcha. Everyone has got his some particular duty, occupation. If by executing your occupational duty you worship Krishna, then your life is perfect. <coughs> That is the instruction given in Simad Bhagavatam, Nimisharana. Dija Sreshta, Bannasama Vibhaga. चानुष्ठित धर्म से संसिद्धि हरिषण अत कुंभी दिज श्रेष्ठ कुंभी बाई पर्सन एवरी वन इज एंगेज इन सम ऑक्युपेशन एज ड्यूटी फॉर्मली इट वॉज द वर्णाश्रम ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय वैश्य शूद्र ब्रह्मचारी गृहस्थ बाणप्रस्थ संन्यासी Everyone has got some particular duty uh, according to his position. Now, <coughs> the different occupational duties have expanded. It doesn't matter if you are engineer, if you are medical man, if you are something else. It doesn't matter. Chakramana tamampar. But try to serve Krishna by the result of your work. That is bhakti. That we have to learn. Our Krishna consciousness moment does not mean that we are going to stop all activities. No, this is not our mission. <coughs> you be engaged in your activities, but don't forget Krishna. This is our mission. Be always Krishna conscious. Therefore, Krishna says how to become Krishna conscious. जत करो सी वॉट एवर यू डू पुरुष तर मदत पनम द रिजल्ट यू गिव मी देन यू टिल बी कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस यू आर ए थिंग दैट यू आर डूइंग फॉर कृष्ण अफकोर्स बाय द ऑर्डर ऑफ कृष्ण बाय रिप्रेजेंटेड यू नॉट हिंजिकल इफ यू डू समथिंग नॉन सेंस एंड इफ यू थिंक दैट आई एम डूइंग फॉर कृष्ण दैट विल नॉट बी एक्सेप्ट इट मस्ट बी वेरीफाइड बाय द एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ कृष्ण and <coughs> krishna's or krishna's representative uh, arjun did not fight without krishna's order therefore he must receive the order uh, if we say that we do not find krishna as well as then krishna's representative uh, <coughs> that is sadhu the krishna's representative is sadhu therefore kapil dev is advising here we That you, mother, you associate with sadhus. It is sadhava. He has described the symptoms of sadhu. 
by the last three, four slokas, he has described what is the uh, symptom. Everything should be accepted by the symptom, characteristic. Not that anyone will come, I am a sadhu. No. Uh, we must know by the characteristic of sadhu. Uh, that has been described. Similarly, <coughs> incarnation of God. Not that anyone will come and say, I am incarnation of God. That will not be accepted. We have to see the characteristics of God as they are stated in the Shastra. Then uh, we can accept somebody as God by uncommon quality. So apart from God, now our present problem is that we are entangled <coughs> by the infection of material qualities. Rajasthama bhava, specialist. Kāmalo-bhāgaya-śrīya cita etai anābhidya sita śrāte prasīdhat. We have to conquer over the quality, the infection of quality of rajasthama. And then we have to situate ourselves in satagon. Then we are in the safe position. And if we do not allow to be infected again by the rajagon and tamagon, uh, if we keep ourselves purely in satagon, that is called Suddha Satta, uh, simply purified satagon, then we will be able to understand what is Krishna, what is God. <coughs> so not only we have to acquire the qualities of satagon, satta sama saucha ajjava titikya jnanam vigyanam astikam brahma karma sadhav. These are the characteristics of satyama. Uh, truthful, so much so truthful that uh, as they are stated by commentators, that even uh, an enemy asks some secret from you, you can say, suppose a thief has come. Now what you have got in your, in your box? Uh -huh. So if you say, hey, I have got so many thousands of rupees or hundreds, a truthfulness should be like that. Even to an enemy, it should be disclosed. That is called truthfulness. Sattva, sama, dhamma, saucha, cleanliness, uh, then controlling the mind, controlling the senses, uh, simplicity, uh, very simple in behavior, arjava, uh, tidikha, tolerance, and full knowledge, vigyanam, practical application of knowledge, asrikam, uh, full faith in Vedic literature and in God. These are the qualification of satagun. So everything can be attained uh, very nicely and easily simply by this sadhu sangha. Sadhu sangha. That we repeatedly say that we we are trying to create some sadhu so that in different parts of the world they will <coughs> preach Krishna consciousness and people will be able to associate with them and they will become Piripala. This is Krishna consciousness. That sadhu sangha, it is very essential. People are suffering on account of being contaminated by the Tamogon and Rajogon. Be, becoming entangled simply by lusty desires, always, uh, just like cats and dogs. So they are becoming more and more entangled. Unfortunately, they do not know that there is life after death, but they do not know what kind of life is going to happen next after death. They are blind, andha. The leaders are also bright. They do not know 
what is the aim of life, what is the future of life, and they are leading them. They are also blind, uh, especially in this age. The human society is in great danger. Uh, they do not care uh, what is next, but there is next life. Uh, we get it in formation from Krishna. The Tadhyantara Prati. The Handra Prati that is. How you can deny it? The authority says. And we have got experience also. We are having the hunter from babyhood to childhood, from childhood to boyhood, from boyhood to youthhood. In this way, we have changed so many bodies. The hunter. This is called the hunter. Similarly, after death there will be the hunter. It is very uh, reasonable. But people do not believe it. So this is our position. And the human life is the opportunity to stop this dehanta. Uh, <clears throat> to stop this dehanta, that is the main business. And how it can be done? Simply by understanding Krishna. And how you can understand Krishna? Simply by association of the devotees. Yes. It is not very difficult. Adho sadhya tato sadhu sangha. Rupa Goswami says, uh, if you get some faith, now I shall become free from this material attachment. Then, as it is advised here, uh, uh, Saiva sadhu sukrita, the attachment which I have got for material enjoyment. Similar attachments should be for the sadhu. That's all. Uh, suppose I want to drink. As I become man without getting any drinking, similarly when you become man without sadhu sangha, then you are liberated. Uh, you have to simply divert the attachment. Uh, not to speak of drinking, even those who are smokers, if he cannot smoke for one hour, he, his throat becomes dried. Give me biri, give me biri. So as you have got attachment for the biri, similar attachment for sadhu will be our liberation. sadhu uh, that is to be learned. Ah. That you can learn with sadhu sangha. If you mix with the sadhus, therefore our mission is if we can create some sadhu and they, they distribute themselves all over the world, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, prithivite ache jato nagaradi gram. Sarvatra prachar hoi He wants that in every village, Every town of the whole world, there may be a center of Krishna consciousness so that people will take advantage of it and they will also become sadhu. Uh, this is the mission of Krishna consciousness. So the sadhus have been described in different ways. Titik Sabhakarunika Suhida Sarvadesh Nam. Ajato Satrava Shanta Sadho Sadhu Bhusana. We have discussed this verse. A sadhu, because everything you want to learn, you have to take some parents voluntarily. So we have to give up something in the beginning. Just like we advise no illicit sex, no intoxication. Even after smoking biri and taking tea. So one who is accustomed to these habits, for him to give up immediately these things, it becomes a little painful. Therefore one has to become tolerant. Never mind. I will have to become free, just like to become cured for some disease. We uh, agree to undergo surgical operation, although it is very painful. 
Ah, oh, tolerant. Similarly, we have to learn toleration, although there will be some pain. Uh, that is called pitikshav. At the same time, you have to become karunika, taking compassion of the fallen souls. You have to go from country to country, town to town, city to city, village to village, to enlighten them, to become Krishna conscious. That is sadhu's duty. Ah, oh. those who are preachers, they are better sadhu than those who have gone to Himalaya. The sadhus who have gone to Himalaya for his personal benefit, that is also good. But those sadhus who are preaching and facing so many difficulties, so many opposing elements, they are better sadhu. They are better sadhu. They are fighting for Krishna's sake. So karunika, because they are more compassionate. Uh, one sadhu has gone to Himalaya sitting there in a secluded place, not to be bothered by any asadhu. That is also nice, but that is personal interest. But those sadhus are not gone to Himalaya, but have left Vrindavan, easy life, and gone to fight to the war, they are better sadhu. That is the opinion of Krishna. Uh, Joy emang paramanguyam mad bhakti so vidas. Nachata smart manusyeshu kasitme priyatitama. Those who are preaching the message of Bhagavad Gita, uh, facing many opposing elements, many difficulties, Krishna says, Nachata smart manusyeshu kasitme priyatitama. Nobody is dearer than him. So, if you want to become very quickly under the recognition of Krishna, then every one of you become a preacher of Krishna consciousness. So such important moment we should take very seriously and try to spread it all worldwide. That will be the best service to the human society. Thank you very much.